While America marks the fight for civil rights, some Wabash Valley historians are working to preserve the memory of another fight for freedom. It's all part of a project to record old Civil War documents and photos online. News 10's Joe Ostrowski gives us first-hand look at that work. They're the faces that fought America's Civil War. Through the years, each young soldier was cut down by artillery or old age. But though they've left this life, these men have also left plenty behind. Just ask Jim Gilson. He's the archivist at the Vigo County Public Library, and he can show you file after file of old Civil War records, rations, and letters home. I'd like to have people come in here or, you know, or look at things on the web and email us and say, my great-great-grandfather served in the war. Do you have anything for him? And I can say, yeah, we do. Now, for the past two years, through a grant, Jim Gilson and others have been working on a project to bring these images to your home computer. They say that'll save you the trip to the library, but it could also help save these documents. You preserve the records for posterity. You know, as you see, these records are fragile and some of them are falling apart already, but you want to people to be able to look at them. Those digitized records are available at the website for Wabash Valley Visions and Voices. And they come from groups like the County Historical Society and the Sisters of Providence. It takes work, but it's work Gilson says he's glad to do. It's nice to be able to, to connect somebody with their past. I mean, so they, they can actually say, my ancestors served in the Civil War. And it's a way to ensure that the sacrifices of those ancestors are never forgotten. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Murphy, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Gilson says digitizing those documents takes money, and that money comes from a grant through the Institute for Museum and Library Services. If you would like to check out those Civil War records online, we've provided a link through our website, WTHITV.com.